Hi, I'm Yuto, and today on Sudashi, I'm going to show you how to make katsudon, a comforting, delicious rice bowl dish made with pork cutlet and egg. Let's get straight to it. We're going to start by taking a jug of 150 milliliters of cold water and add 5 grams of kombu. Leave that to soak for about 30 minutes. In the meantime, let's make our katsu. Take your pork loins and start by making incisions in the fat and muscles to help prevent curling. I'm using pork butt which is particularly fatty so if you're using a leaner part like tenderloin then you can just cut the fat around the edges. Once that's done sprinkle a pinch of salt and pepper on each side to season. Now we're going to tenderize the meat, so wrap it up and take a rolling pin or something similar and pound it all over. Be careful not to pound it too much as we want to keep the cuts relatively thick. Okay, now that's done, let's prepare the coating station. Take a container and crack in one egg. Add one tablespoon of whole milk and one teaspoon of cooking oil. Then whisk them together until combined. The proteins in the milk helps make the pork softer and juicier, while the oil helps the breadcrumb stick better. Once that's mixed, take two more containers, one with four tablespoons of plain flour, and another with 50 grams of panko breadcrumbs. Start by coating the pork in the flour. The layer should be thin and even. If there is too little or too much, the egg won't stick of any excess. Next, coat in the eggs mixture. Again, you want to make sure it's coated evenly all over. Make sure there aren't any gaps. Finally, coat with a generous layer of panko breadcrumbs. Press the panko down gently to skill it and stop it from falling off. This is now ready to fry. I've preheated my oil to 170 degrees Celsius, which is about 338 Fahrenheit. Gently place the cutlet into the oil and fry it for 4 minutes on each side. It's important not to interfere with the katsu once it's in the oil, especially in the first 1 or 2 minutes, because it is still in a delicate condition and the panko could fall off. When you first add it to the oil, it will crackle loudly because the oil is reacting with the moisture in the pork. As it cooks, the noise will become quiet, indicating that the pork is cooked through. I'm only frying one at a time, but if you have a larger pan, you can fry more than that. Just be careful not to add too many at once because this can lower the oil temperature too much and slow down the cooking time, making the katsu oily on the outside and dry on the inside. We definitely don't want that. Once the 8 minutes are up and your cuts is golden and crispy, place them on the wire rack to drain the excess oil. Next we're going to prepare the sauce and eggs. First take 100 grams of onion and cut it into rough wedges. Now add the kombu dashi from earlier, heat it on medium until it starts to bubble gently, then remove the kombu and discard. I 
add 50 ml of mirin, a tablespoon of light brown sugar, and a teaspoon of chicken stock powder. Mix those together over medium heat. And once they're dissolved, add the onion. Simmer until the onion is softened to your liking. While we wait, let's cut the katsu into strips. This is classic presentation for tonkatsu and katsudon, and it makes it easier to eat with chopsticks too. The onion is nice and soft, so next I'm adding 2 tablespoons of soy sauce. Now, for home cooking, you can continue to use the same pan, but today I want to show you this special Japanese pan that is used especially for making individual portions of kasudon or yakudon. Since this is two portions, I'm dividing the onion and broth in half, then laying one piece of katsu on top. I've also separated three eggs, so I'm going to pour half of the egg whites over the top. Place the lid on and let it steam for about one minute. This pan is called Oyakonabe and is often used in restaurants for beautiful presentation. The name comes from the fact that it is used to make Oyakodon too. I also have a recipe for Oyakodon on my channels if you're interested. Next, remove the lid and whisk the egg yolks. Pour them around the top. Place the lid back on. All you need to do is wait until they reach your preferred doneness. Finally, we're going to take a bowl of rice and carefully slide the contents of the pan on top. Garnish with a piece of Japanese wild parsley called mitsuba and that's it. Delicious Japanese katsudon made from scratch. Thank you so much for watching. For more information about this dish and the written recipe, check out the link in the description. Have a great day.